approach is going to be very simple. Uh, we believe that science should lead the day and science should dictate how we address a solution from a financial and a technical standpoint and therefore our goal when we go up to the state board is to demonstrate that we've got a good plan. We've been moving forward on a wastewater system that addresses the, the real issues which is Malibu Creek and the uh, lagoon and we've got a very sound plan that we're moving forward with. This prohibition with wastewater is we're still trying to figure out does the septic systems, our advanced treatment systems here have an impact on the creek and lagoon and certainly we believe that science should dictate how we handle those if in fact it is a problem and uh, we're still not convinced that it is a problem. We feel that we've got a very strong case. Um, uh, again, the science that we've been gathering and there's been uh, studies by, done by independent of the city, UCLA did the bacterioides study. We hired in combination with their own funds, USGS, very reputable, I mean these are very reputable firms that are out there testing the water independent of, of the outcome and they're indicating at least from a very preliminary indication that all of the results are coming back that septic systems are not anywhere near causing the pollution problems that was discussed by the regional board. We're in the plan where we're developing the final plans and then we have to, along with that, we have to do the CEQA document which is an EIR and we've hired a consultant to the tune of about two and a half million dollars that is preparing those plans and doing the CEQA environmental analysis. As part of that, it's going to be a, a several year process in which we do that plan and get the CEQA documents approved. Once that has been completed through the planning process, then you can actually begin the final construction plan process where you actually do the final engineering. And uh, we anticipate that we would have a plant up and operating by 2015. But the prohibition, if, if it stays in effect, that actually would come into play before that plant could be finished, right? Is that the pro part of the problem here? Well, the problem is, is that we could build a plant and meet the prohibition deadline for a certain portion of the prohibition area. In order to meet the prohibition area as outlined by the state, because it's so vast and so expansive, that we believe there's just one, technically, from an environmental standpoint, a CEQA document, and from a design standpoint, it's going to take longer than, than what's anticipated by the prohibition deadline of 2015. And two, we believe that we're going to run into much greater problems because the area includes such a vast amount of area and potential uh, runoff or effluent from these properties that we're going to have to find places to discharge that effluent and that may mean an ocean outfall, that may mean something totally different which will require us to do a, take a longer time to complete that process. So certainly um, if the State Board approves the prohibition and there's no legal challenges to it and it goes into effect, then certainly that has a possibility that it will take us longer than 2015 to get the first phase up and running. Our goal is to get the State Board to agree with the City that we have a well thought out plan, a scientifically sound plan, a financial plan that works alongside of, with that plan so that when they review what was dictated by the regional board as far as the prohibition, they will concur with the city and say send it back to the, to the regional board and, and basically that we don't feel a prohibition is necessary. We're on a path to, to hit the high target bacteria areas. Our, or central civic center area, the commercial. We will also include the uh, residential and SARA. All of these areas contribute directly to the groundwater within the Malibu Creek regime and those are the areas that are really of concern and we don't feel the prohibition as proposed by the regional board is addressing those issues nor do we feel we can meet the timelines established by that. Everybody wants clean water. I want clean water, the council wants clean water, Heal the Bay wants clean water, and, and even the regional board wants clean water. It's just a matter of how to get there that makes, uh, you, know, you don't want the city to go broke doing, doing this process. You want the city to have a plan that the residents buy into. You want a plan that's going to be accepted uh, by the community and, and all the constituents and all the visitors who come to the beach. So ultimately, everybody wants clean water. And I think the council is 100% in agreement on that.
Grant, uh, the Water Board recently made a ruling on a moratorium and are pretty much uh, demanding a sewer system in Malibu. How do you feel about that, and does it affect your, your business here in Malibu? Well, I support the Board's ruling. My family has consistently supported the sewers for this part of Malibu ever since the question came up. It's going to delay some of us commercial property owners in our plans to improve our properties, but in the long run, it'll be better for the water quality, it'll be better for the community, in my opinion. So the uh, city's going to go before the state water board and try to present their position, which is that they don't want a prohibition. Do you think they'll have any success with that? And I think the state board will probably approve what the, the regional board uh, has, has already approved. One of the problems we have as a city is that, number one, we're small. 13,000 people. Number two, there's a perception that we're wealthy. The residents may be, but the city has a $20 million a year general fund budget. We get 7% of our property tax. And the rest of it goes to the county and the state. The point is, we're not a wealthy city, but we're, which makes it easy to sue us because we aren't a wealthy city, but you can guarantee a headline. All you have to do is say Malibu, and it's in the headline. The city has moved ahead more than anyone else, than any other city I know of. The rational solution, scientifically supported solution, is to put in a stormwater treatment facility for the Civic Center commercial and possibly Sarah Retreat. I don't know that yet, but that's part of the EIR. That's more like 200,000 gallons a day. That we can dispose of if we can put it in Winter Canyon and other places into the ground, we can dispose of that. Then, if, and what we proposed, what the city proposed, again, a very rational solution is to put in on all the on-site systems tertiary sterilized treatment. In other words, where the, the treatment for all on-site systems would be tertiary, which is better than Iberian does, by the way, and it puts an ocean alt full on, and sterilized. So there are no pathogens in it. That we could do. That would make sense. That we proposed. That is the best scenario. If we go back to the regional board and they consider the kinds of things that we brought forward already, then we're going to be much better. Shape. So Marcus, you're one of the top performing real estate agents in all of Malibu as far as selling beach homes. What is your perception about how this ruling from the water board will affect uh, the value of real estate and your ability to do real estate business in Malibu? With regards to how it affects the values now, uh, quite dramatically, you know, if they're proposing that a system is going to cost $100,000 as an example, that's a that's an unknown number yet. That's just a guesstimate. And with that, a buyer is going to be skeptical. Do they want a $100,000 price reduction? Do they want a $200,000 price reduction? Do they want something left in escrow so that they know they're not going to be out of pocket? We have to assume, and I believe it's going to happen, that these areas, and eventually more areas, because I assume it will expand beyond those zones that they've identified, that a sewer is going to be installed. The question is how, where, and what's the cost? And until we have those answers, that unknown is what really ties our hands. Mm -hmm.